We are live. So, hey guys, hi, hi everyone. Uh, so I think more energy. Yeah, <laughs> it's it's a big day. Hi guys, hi hi. So yeah, today we are having a live session on Dodo. It's a proactive market maker. So if you guys have already come to our previous sessions on EC5, we explored about DeFi and uh, we talked about liquidity pool, etc. Today, again, we are going to uh, go into that topic, decentralized finance, the liquidity pool, and we'll see how these uh, Uniswap, everything works in the concept called automated market makers and what are the uh, problems with it and how Dodo is addressing the same. So it's a very interesting project that, to look into. And uh, we have Saurav with us, the uh, mentor of mentor and the founder at the blockchain school and uh, he'll be taking the session exploring proactive market maker with dodo and yeah guys uh, so we have this will probably be our fifth uh, community session this year and we are exploring to do more sessions this year uh, stay uh, stay with us and also there's 50 dollars rewards as usual we have five quizzes throughout the session and enter the options properly as usual enter the entire option so you'll be eligible for the dollar ten dollar rewards and sort of can we start yeah uh, one quick thing right uh, so when we say ten dollar reward uh, if you're giving reward in token uh, the worth that is today and the worth the day you receive token that depends completely on the on the day of value on the day we send the token Right, so this issue has been faced by earlier participants with our last contest. So please pardon us there. And second, Karthik will have to take care of our repetitive winners this time uh, as per the internal discussion that we had. So there are two things that you need to take care and the uh, rest I think we can definitely get started. Uh, but for that, I, I think we, we should wait for a few minutes uh, before more people join in because we started a little late uh, due to some technical mishap in the background. So let's wait and then we can head start. Sure, sure. So, yeah, by then we can even talk about it. So we had our, I guess, our participants came here for our MetaHouse Bootcamp as well, which was successful. We had yeah. hundreds of participants in our MetaHouse Bootcamp. And Anshul, as he said, so he took took everyone through MetaHouse, the games there. He's building Zionverse on his own and everyone had fun there. So we're probably exploring to bring in again for a Metaos bootcamp and we're the long awaited DAO bootcamp that is coming up next month in April. So those who are waiting for the DAO bootcamp that is also on pipeline. And also we are exploring to bring in a CVDC and a cryptocurrency bootcamp for the enthusiasts who want to explore about what happens, what are the new norms that the government has brought in, how CVDC is going to affect us and etc. We're going to look into that as well. Cool. So I think uh, with a lot of energy, let's get started. Uh, I hope I'm audible as well as visible. It's really tough to find a very stable internet when you are in the middle of travel always. But uh, I'm really excited for this one. And as the title suggests, exploring proactive market makers with Dodo. Uh, but before breaking down what's Dodo, before even breaking down what's market maker means or what's proactive, lot of jargons in the sentence as always. So uh, it's my ethical responsibility to uh, take you through uh, one step at a time sort of a journey uh, moving forward. Uh, Dhawal, uh, okay, one second, we'll answer all the questions moving forward the moment we come to that particular segment. Uh, it's not about eligibility, it's about repeated repetitiveness or something, but it's okay. Uh, let's move forward. So uh, what are the sessions, uh, what, what are the key, take, uh, key takeaways of today's session? Uh, we will be understanding uh, what are money markets and uh, what are automated money markets, right? How, how automated uh, market maker works and a lot of things, automated money market works. Uh, how does Dodo address the issue with uh, automated market makers? Now Dodo uh, is, is a platform, Dodo is an exchange, a decentralized exchange, which uh, basically works on the lines of uh, decentralized finance, liquidity, providing a lot of other stuff, but has its its own sort of uniqueness, uh, which we'll be talking about. Uh, we'll be also understanding uh, what is proactive market maker, that's PMM, because so far we have heard uh, AMM, we have heard market makers, we have heard automated market makers, but then what's proactive 
market makers because this is something that's coming unique from Dodo. Uh, and, we'll, and also we'll be understanding the protocol design overall. Uh, then we'll talk about the Dodo's product line, uh, what sort of offerings they have uh, for their adopters, for their users. And then as usual, we'll uh, go and we'll talk about Dodonomics, uh, that is tokenomics of Dodo. And uh, then we'll be winding up the session. But uh, the core agenda to conduct this session was to bring in vision uh, because uh, Dodo as a project also entered uh, Indian market when it comes to the opportunity for token uh, investment or, or opportunity to actually explore uh, the project at scale. Uh, that's where we thought we should definitely bring this in, in the eye of community. Uh, so uh, without a further ado, let's 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 move forward. Uh, you know uh, the the way of uh, how, how exactly do we teach, right? We'll be talking about the uh, the very basic thing, right? Decentralized finance, DeFi, because this is a base for Dodo. This is base for everything that we're going to talk today. Uh, so what is decentralized finance, right? Uh, DeFi means decentralized finance. Uh, so if, if someone can tell me in chat uh, something apart from the definition that's on screen, uh, would be happy to read your understanding of DeFi. We've, we've spoken this so many times uh, in our previous classes and community sessions. So if you can quickly tell me what is decentralized finance in uh, as low as three words, four words, five words uh, would be great. So I'll wait for a few answers that's coming my, coming my way. Uh, Utkarsh is saying, sir, Hindi mein, uh, Utkarsh, uh, actually, we will definitely do the sessions in Hindi, but today's session is a little restriction because the crowd is a little diverse, hai, but uh, we will keep you a little updated. Rakhenge. Thanks for uh, joining the class uh i'm waiting for more answers what are your understanding of uh, decentralized finance right now uh to to quickly give you a, just decentralized finance basically uh, aims to build an open source permissionless and transparent financial service ecosystem so currently we have our own traditional sort of finance mechanism uh, that's currently working at a global stage uh, but there are a lot of challenges. There's middlemen involved, there's corruption, there's uh, challenges in the system itself. Uh, we're not actually using technology at its best and, and so, so on and so forth. So what we are saying is uh, we are trying to decentralize the entire uh, financial ecosystem. Now the decentralized financial system offer services, very similar sort of services, right? We, we do borrowing, we do lending, we do yield farming, uh, something called crypto lending. We have asset storage. Now asset is your crypto assets, uh, uh, digital assets, uh, to be honest, and more without involvement of any middlemen or, or centralized sort of an authority, right? So uh, what we're seeing is at scale, we can see a more distributed and decentralized sort of a model when it comes to uh, finance. Uh, world itself, right? Uh, what are some of the decentralized financial services uh, that we can understand, right? Uh, in your in your traditional market, there's definitely saving. We have saving in our uh, Web3 world or we have savings in our decentralized finance world. There's something called lending and borrowing. Uh, that's again common. Uh, there's something called asset tokenization, right? Now this is, this is unique because uh, crypto, uh, in general, right? Decentralization is all about tokenization. So here we are utilizing that particular mechanism to basically tokenize the assets and rip the best benefits sort of a thing. Uh, we have decentralized exchanges. So something that Dodo falls under, we'll be talking about decentralized exchange. Uh, we have insurance uh, on decentralized uh, mechanism. We have asset management. And then we have something called stable coins like USDT, USDC, uh, BUSD, and all others, right? And then India is also talking about CBDCs moving forward. Uh, uh, but these are some of the financial services that today decentralized finance is uh, uh, bringing uh, to the people, right? Uh, then something comes as liquidity pro liquidity pool. So what is your understanding of liquidity pool? There's no answer so far uh, in the chat. Uh, I'll, I'll take it slow. I would love to understand what is your understanding of liquidity pool or what is your understanding of decentralized finance in general? Because I haven't heard back yet on uh, your definition of decentralized finance. Dhaval, Ganesh, uh, any other frequent sort of learners if you are here. So Karthik, do we, do we have any answers? I don't know if I can see it. 
guys if you have any uh, idea about liquidity pro please put it in the chat so far i'm not able to see any just a second yes let's keep moving forward so uh what is a liquidity pool right so a liquidity pool is basically uh like with with the definition itself you understand we are trying to talk about a pool or a, a common ground where we basically bring in something uh in a crowd source sort of a manner so a liquidity pool is a crowd source pool of cryptocurrencies or tokens uh locked in a smart contract now you know better that uh, uh the entire blockchain sphere speci specifically ethereum blockchain runs on the smart contract mechanism right so these are tokens locked in a smart contract that is used to facilitate trades between the assets on a decentralized exchange now i'll talk more about what a decentralized exchange means uh but uh what more important factor here is to understand what is a liquidity pool so to basically bring in liquidity or uh, to run your mechanism to run your system uh, or or to to keep your system smooth or in place right so if you look at the diagram on my screen uh, there's there's one side where there's something called deposit and on another side there's something called swap on the deposit end there's liquidity provider sitting on on the swapping end there's a trader like you and me right and the system is called uniswap pool right now uh, if let's say you're depositing your input is 10 tokens right a uh, so you're considering two tokens right now one is your general token and second is your token that provides power to the system right so input you are putting in 10 tokens a plus one token b and in 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 this so basically the output that you're creating is four liquidity provide uh, provider shares for yourself to reap the best benefits now basically when you put this in a reserve of let's say 100 tokens say 10 tokens b traders can basically swap tokens uh, in in terms of uh, uh, a and b sort of a thing right with certain amount of fees uh, and there's a pool of liquidity shares which is which which bring which basically is taken in consideration when a uh, liquidity provider wants to get rewarded just a second <coughs> so the entire mechanism works between the technology the liquidity provider that's the fund provider sort of a thing and your trader or you and me or the adopters or things like that now uh, if you move forward oh, oh, oh okay okay so we have our uh, first quiz coming which i mistakenly just showed so uh, where does a liquidity pool facilitate trade between assets uh a centralized exchanges b decentralized exchanges c all of the above or for non none of the above uh write a full answer and uh, yeah i just have some water by then <coughs> <coughs> prashant this is not a course by the way it's a free community session so you are more than happy to be invited dhawal is saying all of the above jitendra kumar is saying all of the above uh prashant kumar is saying decentralization write a full answer guys the highest amount of transaction we can make without affecting price uh, much is called liquidity good one dhawal dex decentralized exchanges dhawal you betting multiple answers that won't work uh, you, uh you'll i think uh, kartik give me a heads up once you have the iitns integrity please write the full answer if you feel the answer is correct you're not considered so far yeah so i'm giving a uh, final uh, opportunity please guys put the option as well as the answer like one centralized exchanges complete Answer. Cools. Uh, give me a heads up, Karthik. When are you ready? I'll sure. just make my throat comfortable by then. Three, all of the above. Maybe. Do we have a right answer so far? We have a right answer, but oh, but we're waiting. We're, we're, we're expecting more. Yeah. Cool. Nice throw. Quickly. 
Who cool, more yeah. answer? Right? Yeah. Let's move forward, right? Okay, yeah. cool. So the right answer is decentralization. Yes. So liquidity pool facilitate trades between assets uh, on decentralized exchanges. We're talking about Dodo, guys. It's it's a decentralized exchange. So I think there's nothing else that we're talking today. Uh, but I think uh, before understanding what is Dodo and before understanding any other thing, right? Uh, the the important thing is we should understand what is a market maker because the entire ecosystem is running on market making mechanism sort of a thing, right? So the first task is to understand what is a market maker. So uh, to give you a definition or a gist of it, a market maker facilitates the process required to provide liquidity for trading peers on a centralized exchange. Now I'll give you an example for this, right? So just uh, consider any sort of an exchange where you buy, sell cryptocurrencies, right? Uh, you are buying is selling for sure, but uh, you're definitely buying in, in terms of a pair. A trading pair can be as easy as USDT Ethereum, right? But the moment you want to sell, the moment you want to buy, there should be a, a kind of a pool. There should be availability of fund at an instance, right? And that's where uh, to facilitate this entire thing, this liquidity and market makers facilitate this process that is required to provide a liquidity for the payers that we are talking about on central exchanges. Just a sec. Cool. So uh, to give you more clarity on what I just spoke, right? So when trader, okay, uh, I'll, I'll give you an example with, with le let's say a uh, explanation with some sort of people. So let's say there's a trader A, uh, maybe Karthik is a trader A and he decides to buy one Bitcoin at $34,000 and the centralized exchange ensures that it finds a trader B, that is me, Saurabh, right? That is willing to sell one Bitcoin at a trader A or Karthik's uh, preferred exchange rate, more or less uh, basically the middleman, right? So now its job is to make the process as seamless as possible uh, and match users buy sell orders in record time, right? So centralized exchange, what we'll do is Karthik wants to buy. I want to sell. Uh, I think my expectations are matched. His expectations are matched. So there's some sort of a connectivity that's ha that's happening. Uh, what happens if the exchange cannot find uh, suitable matches for buy sell orders instantaneously, right? So in such scenarios, we say that the liquidity of the asset in question is low, right? So there's no liquidity. Uh, the, if if I want to sell, there's no Karthik in it. For Karthik wants to buy at certain price, and I'm not agreeing to it. So that's where the mismatch happens. That's where it is trying to solve or, or market makers try to facilitate this entire process at a little smoother sort of a way. Now to achieve a fluid trading system, centralized exchanges rely on professional traders or let's say financial institutions to provide liquidity for their trading peers. So if I want to list a pair on my centralized exchange, I go to a financial institute or a professional trader and collect a, a sort of a share or a fund uh, and build my liquidity, right? Now these entities creates multiple bid ask order to match the orders of retail traders. Now with this, the exchange can ensure that now counterparties are always available for all the trades. This means that you are, you can buy, sell crypto of your choice at your peers on the go. And that's how they enhance the experience of their exchanges. But this entire thing is being powered by your financial institutes or the, the liquidity providers, the fund providers to successfully execute this sort of trades on the platform. Uh, but this was manual that we were talking, right? Centralized exchanges were operating on a manual scale uh, where we have financial institutes, we have professional traders and things like that. But there's an introduction to something called automated market makers. Now, automated market makers, the name itself suggests this thing should be uh, more technology savvy or more automated or more process driven rather than a human intervention, right? So now what is an automated market maker or AMM? Now on AMM based decentralized exchange, right? we're talking about DEX. The traditional order book is replaced by liquidity pools that are pre-funded on-chain. Now on-chain means there's a liquidity pool available on a blockchain, which is pre-funded for both assets of the trading pairs. Now, uh, I was talking about USDT Ethereum as a pair, right? So for both the pairs, the fund is 
available in the liquidity pool that's pre-funded on chain. Now the liquidity is provided by other users who also earn a passive income on their deposit through either trading fees based on the percentage of liquidity pool that they provide. Now here's an opportunity for everyone, right? To come and participate and make some sort of an extra passive income uh, by doing so. Now one decentralized exchange that has implemented uh, an automated market maker is Uniswap. We have, we have spoken about Uniswap a couple of times. Now, Uniswap is an Ethereum based DEX or decentralized exchange, which allows its users to both supply liquidity uh, to earn passive income or to exchange between various assets. So today I want to exchange a swap uh, Uniswap uh, on to basically swap Ethereum uh, with USDT or I want to swap USDT uh, with Matic token, right? I can easily do that on Uniswap. Right. So this is what a normal AMM is currently working. But as I mentioned in the very first slide, uh, that Dodo comes with its own uh, unique uh, offering called uh, PMM, right? Proactive market maker, uh, proactive market making, right? So we'll be talking about that moving further. Now, how actually automated market maker works? Uh, if you look at the center diagram, on my screen, there's token A and there's token B, right? There's user on one side and there's liquidity provider on the other end, right? Now, what happens is user basically pay transaction taxes, right? And that goes to, and, and, and here on the liquidity provider end, they're earning from transaction taxes. But on the first hook itself, liquidity providers are depositing token A and token B, and users are basically selling token A or let's say buying token we are swapping, right? So liquidity providers powers the system, users uses the system, users pay the fee for it and liquidity providers makes their money or passive income as we say. But that's how the AMM liquidity pool is built of token A and token B of basically all the dual pairs that has been used in terms of swapping, right? Uh, so far, do you guys have any questions? Please throw if you have any questions. It's a weekday. I know like you must be in office and things like that, but we are here to just come and teach you. So if any sort of questions, please shoot. But still we face uh, trading transactions on weekends. Okay. Like, I don't know what's the context for that. If you don't have question, let's shoot the next quiz. Uh, can, uh, Karthi, can you check are we live streaming on YouTube properly? Yep. Cool. Let's. Okay. So question two comes as does automated market maker replaces the traditional order book by liquidity pool on decentralized exchanges. Yes or no? Uh, just write one yes to no if you know the answer. Okay. J uh... Do we have right answer, Kartik? So we will wait for some time so more people answer. Cool. Let me know yeah. when to move forward. Oh, we have so many yeses. Yeah, right. Is the right answer yes? Is the right answer yes? Yes, it's the answer. We can show them the answer. Okay. Second. Let's please go to a platform like Uniswap. I joined a little late. Prashant will, will answer that. Uh, the right answer is yes, for sure, because everyone guessed it right. <laughs> cool. Uh, now let's come to, I think, uh, the topic of the day, right? Uh, what is Dodo? Because we've been talking about Dodo a lot. 
and i think i i, I love the keyword honestly like i i heard about dodo 2 years back one and a half years or two years back roughly and then realized that dodo is a cool platform but what exactly is dodo like dodo is a decentralized trading protocol for web3 that's your internet layer 3 or whatever you say the recent sort of evolution of internet uh but one second what is dodo right so now dodo is a decentralized exchange based on something called proactive market maker algorithm we'll break down what's pmm or proactive market maker mechanism uh with pmm it has an upper edge it's uh, or sort of uh, amms as it offers or you have so there are three things right so why proactive market makers or automated market makers so there's something called capital efficient liquidity pool right so uh, the 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 efficiency of the capital or, or let's say efficiency of the liquidity pool uh, is rich due to uh, the capital that's there in liquidity pool uh, second is reducing the in, in permanent losses right so there's someone also mentioned in chat and i've came come, come across this a lot of times that there's a lot of impermanent losses uh, when you are trying to execute uh, or 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 play around decentralized exchanges or play around liquidity pools or play around a uh, lot of things around defi right and third is minimum slippage for traders now what traders are doing right uh, this is like something that recently came uh, to me that traders uh, put a like like provide liquidity at one platform gets rewards get rewards Uh, stake those rewards or stake that benefits to another platform earn money through that stake that to another so they do a process of things to basically earn passive income now what if the value of my asset or value of my token goes extensively low at my second or third stage that going to hamper the further process right that's where the mi- minimum slippage uh key like minimum slippage sort of a concept comes along right uh is how does uniswap on from amm model will will take this as we answer questions forward uh, what are impermanent losses first of all right so impermanent losses is a unique risk involved with providing liquidity to dual asset pools now dual asset is your uh, dual pair or let's say usdt ethereum example that i was giving uh, this is in your in general defi protocols now essentially it occurs when depositing them into an automated market ma- maker and then withdrawing them at a later date results in a loss compared to if you have if you had just ho- holding or holding as we say and left them in your wallet in fact you may not actually lose any money but rather you gain your gains are less relative uh, to if you had just left your assets untouched but if you're a very frequent or a avid trader right where you are in need of funds regularly to Uh, increase that fund or something like that to just play around that's where uh, the the main game comes in picture right so in the long run if you're just holding 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 and definitely bringing a lot of gains on the table but if you're a frequent sort of a trader or if you're a frequent liquidity provider uh, impermanent losses are something that needs to be fixed and this is a unique risk as we mentioned involved when playing around in decentralized finance protocol overall Right, so providing liquidity. Let's say date one, uh, you deposited a uh, value of asset pair worth let's say two hundred dollars, right? And held in wallet is your two hundred dollars. And date two, you withdraw value of asset pair two seventy dollars, but value of asset pair is three hundred dollars. Now, an extremely simplified example of implementing a uh, impermanent loss. Assets have grown in value, but less than they would have compared to just holding. So if you have just hold it, it would have been three hundred dollars. but you are actually taking a loss of $30 but $30 is something that looks small but if you are trading at bigger volumes you will see a big sort of difference now dodo's proactive market maker uh, tries to address this impermanent loss issues associated with automated market based decentralized exchanges like uniswap sushi swap now with this innovative uh, sort of a uh, approach dodo offers better liquidity and price stability then automated market makers now how is something that going to be your question which will answer they have their own uh, dodonomics and they have their own sort of offerings and products uh, but their pmm specifically focuses on improvising or improving the quality of liquidity 
or uh, the, the enhancement of liquidity itself and also the price stability uh, than your normal AMM. Now, Dodo's PMM protocol design, your uh, proactive market maker. Right? So let's explore the Dodo's private pool, DPP. This is a feature aimed at professional market makers that best uh, illustrates what makes Dodo's uh, algorithm little special. Now, if you're interested in the formula behind, uh, behind your uh, proactive market maker, you can dig into the maths here, right? So Dodo's private pool, Dodo has a private pool. Uh, Dodo private pool puts you, uh, the market maker in control of your Dodo private pool, put the full power. So first of all, Dodo's private pool puts you, uh, and the market maker in control. Uh, second is it puts the full power of your configure uh, con uh, configurations of Dodo's, uh, uh, market maker mechanism and at your fingertips, empowering anyone to be a professional market maker. Now DPP, that's your Dodo private pool also allows market makers to do certain things, right? So one, they allows you to make one sided deposit withdrawal. Second, they allows you to change, uh, the pricing curve at any time. And third, they allow you to have liquidity everywhere in the price range from zero to infinity. Now, these are three things that brings in the uniqueness in itself when it comes to comparing your, uh, PMM versus AMM. Now in, in an AMM, right? So in an automated market maker, assets are always held in one is to one ratio. This gives no flexibility to the liquidity provider and making them want to like in permanent losses. But in case of PMM, that's your proactive market maker assets ratios can be set by the liquidity provider themselves. Now AMM, your automated market makers also govern the price solely by quoting the price according to your quantity in the pool. But in PMM, the oracles can be introduced that guides the prices. I'm not saying that you as an individual or a group or a group can decide, uh, the ratio and things like that, but you can introduce oracles in which comes further. Uh, okay. Quick question. Dodo is a decentralized exchange based on proactive market maker algorithm. Okay. Shit. Uh, PMM. I just, I just uttered the right answer. Now you'll have to quickly type and the first come first serve sort of a thing. I didn't read, but what is the full form of PMM? I just mentioned, so is it proactive market maker? It's pro market maker. It's pro wo, pro wo active meter maker. Okay. This was, this was, <laughs> this was funny, but cool. I just, uh, answered the right question. I had no clue and no, I only Yeah. I will go to the design exchange based on proactive market maker. New participants in the option. So yeah. Cool. By the way, with the, with the last challenge of, uh, we giving in, uh, the rewards in the token value itself, this time we'll be giving rewards in USDT so that there's no difference in uh, pricing, even if the token falls or goes up, because if token goes up, no one, no one will come to us and say that we have received an extra money. But if the token goes down, they will come and shout at us that you are cheating on us. So let's, let's remove that barrier. Uh, spelling mistake. Okay. Okay. We have a lot of, lot of good answers. Uh, Karthik, your job is to pick, uh, the one that is unique, <laughs> right? Unique in itself. And also, uh, as per the discussion internally, that reputation, how frequent it should be. Anyways, the right answer is proactive market makers. We all knew that it, it was easy. Uh, are you, are you, are you all on the same page? First of all, I think this is my job to ask. I was a little fast, but tell me quickly if you are on same page so that I can confidently move forward. Dang. Tell me, tell me, give me a thumbs up guys. I, I can see a good amount of, uh, audience fluctuation today. I don't know either they're not interested in decentralized finance or they are having a hectic day at office. Okay. Anyways, let's move forward. Uh, so Dodo has its own set of products. The first product is smart trade trading and aggregation. Now this is built on Ethereum and Bana smart chain like Dodo enables trading between two arbitrary token on the same network. Now the smart trade feature 
intelligent like so basically it finds the best order routing from aggregated liquidity source to give traders the best prices now users who execute the trade on dodo also have the option to participate in trade mining uh, which basically rewards traders with dodo tokens right so now uh, the entire job of smart trade as their product is uh, enhancing the experience of trading and bringing an aggregation to it right so the moment you are trying to let's say uh, put an order right this will basically route from an aggregated sort of a ecosystem to bring in the best prices for you or the users or the adopters as we say but additional users who execute trades on dodo also have an option to participate in something called trade mining which also rewards an additional uh, uh, sort of fund uh, in terms of dodo tokens as a reward right uh, the second product is called crowd pooling now the name itself suggests is crowd pooling is an equal opportunity way to distribute tokens and also kick off liquidity markets now this is inspired by the call auction mechanism uh, so call auction mechanism common place in securities marketplaces now crowd pooling ensures that there is no upfront sort of running or bot interference sort of a thing but with the added security and assurance provided by a liquidity protection period users are able to participate in liquidity offering campaigns and be involved in the project this support with peace of mind to make it easy crowd pooling brings in a comfort for the uh, lps or, or the adopters uh, to basically without an intervention of let's say bot interference or a no front running sort of a thing uh, this brings in security and assurance for provided by liquidity protection period now users can confidently participate in liquidity providing via the crowd pooling sort of a feature via the crowd pooling sort of product and also an added security assurance and a lot of other added benefits uh, there's something called pools now dodo gives a liquidity provider the flexibility to create and manage their own market making strategy via something called dodo vending machine and dodo private pool now dodo vending machine and dodo private pool that's dpp and your uh, uh, dvm right now these are two things that is that will help users or liquidity providers especially to basically create and manage their own sort of market making strategies so this is fully permissionless non custodial process and users are empowered to configure this pools with various parameters in order to eventually establish a right liquidity markets with like ideal pricing curves and that basically suits the need of a user and end user right so this way you can involve as a liquidity provider uh, and leverage their vending machine and leverage their private pool to create your own sort of market making strategies uh, we were talking about mining now in addition to the uh, aforementioned uh, trade mining and traditional liquidity mining uh, pool creators and liquidity providers can also get involved by participating in something called combiner harvest mining now combiner harvest mining which basically gives dodo platform users a readily available exposure to trading uh, trending and promising projects that are willing to collaborate with dodo now dodo is a decentralized exchange and there are a lot of token listings or project listing that happen on top of dodo uh, here with the help of mining you get an opportunity to basically participate or uh, get involved in this sort of projects to definitely make good sort of money uh, weighted projects can create liquidity pools on dodo and liquidity providers of this pools will receive dodo reward tokens we're talking a lot about tokens tokens uh, dodo tokens especially will 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 definitely cover up uh, in in the further slide but i think this is a good product as well because uh, if i want to involve myself on the launch pad side of any sort of an exchange this is one of the best ways to do that uh talking about token economics uh the way we say dodo economics uh dodo has its own token that goes with ticker dod or dodo right that's dodo uh dodo is a native uh work and governance token of this decentralized platform called dodo right the dodo token has been given several important utilities in addition to its governance like governance function 
Now, Dolder Token holders enjoy the following benefits. Now, governance rights. Holders can create and vote on proposals. That is one Dolder equals to one vote. Uh, crowd pooling and IDO auctions. Now, IDO allocation. Sorry, IDO is your initial DEX offering, your initial decentralized exchange offering. So, any project that comes on Dodo and do their uh, initial coin offering sort of a mechanism, uh, the holders get the benefits or uh, allocation opportunities and things like that. And also, you get trading fee discounts and things like that. Now, there's something called Dodo Economics version two. Now, starting from Dodo's uh, V2, there will be three categories of Dodo platform users. First, gonna be traders. Second, gonna be liquidity pool creators, and third, gonna be liquidity providers. We call them LPs. Now, Dodo token will have two new utilities for holders: crowd pooling and IDO allocations, and trading fee discounts on Dodo. Uh, this is specifically for the holders of Dodo token. A new non-transferable V Dodo token, that is your New versions token will be introduced to serve as proof of membership in Dodo's loyalty program. Now, Dodo has its own sort of loyalty program. Fix rate of one V Dodo is equals to hundred uh, Dodo tokens. That is, I think, that is superb. Uh, the ratio is something that's exciting. Uh, now, uh, V Dodo, uh, your version two's uh, token, will give holders dividends from trading fees and membership rewards. In addition to the same benefits of holding Dodo token, so this is now an extra leg to your earning capacities or your uh, participation into the ecosystem. Now, in order to encourage long-term memberships, redeeming V Dodo tokens to Dodo tokens will incur a variable exit fee. Now, there is gonna be a variable sort of an exit fee if you want to just redeem a V Dodo token in exchange to uh, your Dodo token. Right now, trading. Uh, mining and combiner harvest will be rolled out to incentivize more interactions with the Dodo platform or ecosystem itself. So I think in every token economics that we talk, uh, the strong utilities lie around the product itself and the offering itself. And there's more inclusion of you as a user, or there's more more inclusion of uh, you as a uh, liquidity provider or a trader or things like that. To include yourself to leverage the best of the ecosystem itself. Uh, let's also talk a little bit about Vdodo, right? So Vdodo is a token that serves as a user's proof of membership in the loyalty program that Dodo has created. Now, this benefits from uh, Vdodo token holders include uh, not limited, but there are like a lot. Now, governance rights holders can create and vote on proposals. I think we keep talking about governance mechanism. We, we keep talking about governance mechanism. We keep talking about proposals. Then during last call, uh, Nusair jumped in and, and, and he said like governance tokens is something that he doesn't believe. And a and lot of people don't believe on governance, right? Uh, but community governance is something that a lot of projects are following. Now here also we have governance token. I think we've been talking about governance and governance tokens forever now. Uh, so one we do do is equals to 100 votes. Crowd pooling and IDO allocation, initial decentralized exchange allocation. Now, allocation is something that me, if I want to participate in a very early stage uh, of any sort of a project that I feel is a potential uh, 10x or 100x opportunity for me, I need a token allocation at a very early stage, right? So this gives that kind of a benefit. Uh, you have discounts on your trading fees. Uh, you get paid uh, from the trading fee in, in, in the form of dividends. This is exclusive to your we do do uh, token holders. Now, proportion of the trading fees occur on the platform will be distributed to this particular token holders. Uh, you have membership rewards, you have token distributed rewards, and a lot of uh, other benefits. So far, I think we have a few questions that I'll pick up. I've seen it. Uh, you are currently seeing Dodo products. Is Dodo Indian based? Nope, we we come from metaverse, guys. So uh, it's 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 a part of the community. It's not uh, Indian. It's it's a global project, guys. So I cannot say it's 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 an Indian. But yeah, it's now available in India. If you want to buy Dodo token, it's available on Wazirx. Got listed recently, and that's where the awareness uh, got like increased as well. Uh, is the difference between AMM and PMM is that we can provide liquidity of peers in any ratio? Uh, yeah, but with certain conditions, right? You just cannot cannot provide in any sort of a ratio. 
it comes with added sort of rules to it right you just cannot but yeah it's partially correct this is what the definition is but there's an extension to your uh, definition as well so i think we're good guys so far uh, let me quickly shoot the next two questions uh, be active dodo also provides pool creators and liquidity providers an opportunity to participate in what a proactive market maker combiner harvest mining combine mining or combiner harvesting i know all confusing all credit goes to karthik but quickly pick one uh, and i think we'll have a right answer quick guys quick 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 dhawal is always fast where are others quick guys proactive market makers karthik give me a heads up once we have the right answer i think by this time we are already at the end of the uh today's community session but we need more answers we need more answers quickly shoot Yeah, sir. We have the answers. So, I guess most of you are right. The Great. the answer is you can reveal. It's a combiner harvest market. Mining. One second. Okay, it was combiner harvest mining. Uh, last but not the least, which is the following? Uh, which of the following is false? So, V Dodo is equals to hundred Dodo tokens. Uh, is it hundred votes or One dodo equals two hundred words. I think this is also easy, guys. PBS has motivated me to increase my typing speed. Great, Dhawal. <laughs> Sorab, do you own Crypto Punk? Ah, not a right question to ask here. Ah, uh, dodo is equals two hundred words. Anyways, quick. Prashant, I do not hold. I do not hold a Crypto Punk. Sad, but true. Anyways, okay. I'm revealing. Shall I reveal? Reveal? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Last but not the least, Dodo is equals to hundred votes. Thank you so much uh, for attending today's quick community session. Uh, as usual, write to us at team at the blockchain school dot io. Right. Okay, but who will write? We are the winners. Yeah, I'll review the winners. So okay, quick, the five winners. I'll the names are uh, Kalpana K, Ganesh, A A N A K, Ganesh. Okay. Okay. Uh, okay. One thing I'll make it clear, Dhawal. You will deserve a separate sort of a reward. You've been restricted to a multiple sort of winner mechanism, but I'll appreciate your dedication. So you you have my number. Reach out to me for a separate reward. But I guess you're not <laughs> in the list today. But I just want that dedication. Maybe next time we can bring you back. Is that right, Karthik? Yeah. We'll have we we intentionally not, but unintentionally we were like. We were helpless, honestly. But yeah, I hope you'll respect our honesty. Yeah. Next, next, quickly. J. Uh, Jitendra Kumar. Jitendra Kumar. Jitendra Kumar. Then we have uh, Shashank. Shashank. And Ajay Reddy. Ajay. Ajay Reddy, cool guys. Uh, I need your. Uh, we, we basically we need your email addresses, which are registered to Wazirx Wallet, and your rewards will be presented. But I hope the session was value. This is just a given incentive. Uh, and also Dhawal, you know what you need to do. Uh, thanks, uh, Dhawal. Thanks, Aditya, for quickly answering. Uh, let's wind it up, Karthik. Any last thoughts, and then we'll close the session. So.
yeah guys uh, maybe this session would have felt a bit uh, more uh, technical because the dodo platform with some technical we didn't want to go into technicalities because it's just a one hour session so if you want to explore more into the technicalities we'll probably do a decentralized finance version 2 of the bootcamp you can explore more into the detail and talk to our mentors and learn more about the uh, proactive market makers etc it will be a st- second version of our uh, decentralized finance bootcamp and also we are having our uh, as i mentioned many have already asked us and people are just waiting for our dao bootcamp so dao bootcamp is coming up next month so uh, keep uh, stay tuned guys and we'll update you on the dao bootcamp as soon as the dates are fixed and you guys can register for the same thank you for joining guys uh, stay tuned and we have more such community sessions we'll bring in more interesting platforms and uh, we have more rewards to share with you and so yeah cool thank you so much kartik for being a great host and thank you everyone uh, okay dhawal thank you for saying that it was an informative session a uh, lot of things are new to me as well but i love to be the teacher for a lot of youtube sessions i am just enjoying this and i hope i delivered right value to you see you in the next one uh, have a great weekend or week first and then weekend ahead until then just keep learning and keep building see ya yeah.